This video is brought to you by SumsBrand.com, my online store for original art, prints, and graphic tees. And as always, use that discount code SUMS for 10% off your entire order. We're in LES right now, headed to the Stanton Street Courts, meeting up with somebody who I've been following for a little bit. Um, I did some research trying to do a Polaroid series, and I was thinking about calling this something like Polaroids of my people or Polaroids of people. And you know, I'm big on big on like playing on names, but I figured that name was too cool to not be already taken. So in the research, always do your research. In my research, I came across a dope photographer by the name of Polaroid PV. You might know him as PV in the neighborhood. Um, in the neighborhood is his tag. Definitely check out his YouTube channel. Um, but we're gonna meet up today. And of course, we're gonna get some shots in. And ironically, or coincidentally, we are at the courts. So we're gonna get some shots, maybe shoot something. We're gonna see. So I hit up PV, told me to meet him out here at uh, Stanton Street Court. So I'm out here posted. Uh, it's been a minute since I've been out here. One of my first shoots I did up in here in New York, just met somebody out in the parks. If you're ever looking for places to shoot in New York, the cheat code is definitely coming to like one of these open space parks. The plaque outside is say Nike officially renovated this court. And as you can see, the backboards are dope and the actual court is dope. Um, I'm shooting portraits. I don't know if I'm going to be shooting like angling down or nothing like that, if it even do it justice. But uh, we're going to see There's some cool stuff around here, whether it's you know colorful buildings, colorful random doors, uh, the fences, texture. I'm always looking for texture. But of course, we're going to lean on PV to see what he thinks is a cool spot as well. He might know the area a lot better than us. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'd say if I had a ladder, I'd be out here nah, yeah, that with was the. Crazy. Um, yeah, yeah. I could get down. I could get down too. Like, I can kneel down. If you have like a seat, like right here on the joint. All right. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Hey, see, I know the flash went off, but it's probably not even, not even gonna like affect it. Yeah. I'm just walking around. We just finished shooting on uh, the cause courts over on Stanton Street. Yes, um, sir. So we got some in, got some cool shots of the basketball, like I thought. Um, and now we're just looking for some more, some more cool spots. Yes, sir. In the neighborhood. <laughs> so Photo Dama is the homie, and, okay. and, and, and he said basically he, he had the brand already, and y'all started helping him build that, and he started building up traction. Yeah, so Re with the store, so yeah, he had the brand for about like eight years, I would say almost, he was doing everything e-commerce, and then the last year, he opened up the actual physical location, mm -hmm. and uh, I've just been with him since uh, almost basically day one, like I started working with him like a month after they opened, or maybe like a couple of weeks. And I just been with him ever since. They opened in, uh, we opened in uh, September 12th was the opening day. So September 12th, that just passed, made a whole year. Right. So, you know, we just, uh, just in there every day processing film. I, I basically manage like the, uh, I manage the e-commerce. And, uh, you know, hit the post office a couple of times a week uh, with a whole bunch of packages. Yeah. You know? And, they and when I'm not doing that, I'm working on In the Neighborhood. Hey. Working on a web series, you know, working on the different products and stuff like that. I see this green fence over here, Meltzer Tower. Look like they just painted these green fences. And then you got the green, the green hoodie on, the neighborhood. Um, yeah, the sun was just beaming on this a minute ago. So when it, when it comes back, it might be a really cool shot to get some glow on it. Green on green, but it's also like a glow happening, or a little spot right here. Uh, yeah. I, 
know the other one was a little taller. I mean, I, I'm well, just talking look. out loud. I know, I know that one was taller, oh, but yeah, yeah. but the light is on this side. Yeah. So let's. Just turn in the corner right here. So we gonna, uh, we can head over here. Maybe if I, hit, if I get some shots from like this angle, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it'll be more in there. Yeah. That's gonna look cool. Come, come over a little more, like right here. I'm gonna do right two. Here. Probably gonna do two here. Probably gonna do one straight on and then one this way. Can you hold out the um the film? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, the idea is for you to post up right here and then. Yep. No flash. Two. I'm gonna wait for it to come back. So I know, I know I got it for sure. <laughs> so lean your head to, to, to the, the yellow side. Yeah. Okay, one, two. So I got two more shots. I think one I'm gonna definitely do right here. This whole situation is just like a square, so a rectangle, so it might look good on here. So yeah, so flash went off, but I think it'll still look good. Um, that's why I wanted to do like two on this joint, so. I'm thinking either side joint, unless we go all the way up. See this little pocket of light right here. Yeah, like right here. Yep. All right. Just like that. Just finished up eight shots, and that's a pack. In the neighborhood, baby. This shoot is a part of the Days of Polaroid series. You can watch more right here on this channel by subscribing and hitting that bell for alerts. You can follow me on Instagram at Brian Summers and more on BrianSummers.com. A huge thank you to everyone who contributed to this project from friends to family. Without your help, this series wouldn't be possible. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next shot.